Hey, so welcome to my doodle planner flip through. So I got the doodle planner from Amanda Rich Lee. So it's like uh, she's a bullet journal YouTuber, and so she dropped her own planner. And this is the academic version, which means it lasts from uh, Ju July 2020 to June 2021 which is perfect for basically a school year and so let's go with the flip through so first I put a little sticker here that I got from Aliexpress just to make it a little bit more like personal and so I put a little bit of like post-its post-it notes so that people like don't see my personal stuff so I hope you don't see me or don't try to see it so yeah, on the first page you can write your name and there's a little bit of doodles and then you have a quote page, an overview and so this planner is basically the same as the normal doodle planner but it lasts from uh, these dates as I said before then there's a reflection in the goals page that I have not filled out yet I plan on filling them out um, at the end of 2020 like in December 2020 even though this planner lasts until June because I like to reflect uh, at the end of the of a no normal year then you have a page that says things to check out so I put there's little categories I uh, did things to see things to buy albums to buy <laughs> and then I put like my little photo cards that I like like it's Namjoon and that's Solgi and then there's like a packing list for when I go to college but I, I am college now and then we are right yeah there's like note pages that I have not used up used yet and then there's a quote page for July and I just put a lot of things here like anyway <laughs> I drew out a calendar of you too there's a space for that if you want to do this then there's a full calendar so it's filled out as you can see I put stickers I kind of colored the doodles that were already in the book and then there's a habit tracker as you can see these pages are personalized a lot and this is what I like about this planner is that even though it's a pre-made planner you can really personalize it and for me I usually used to use um, a bullet journal that I made myself but the problem was that this year I'm gonna be super busy so it's gonna be difficult to bullet journal a lot and I love the bullet journal system so this is the best the best of both word both words for me and yes this is a Hannah Montana reference so anyway that's not funny at all I'm sorry but yeah that's the best of both words for me because it's a pre-made bullet journal, but you can still, I can still really personalize it when I have the time to. But for example, if I go to like September, when I know I'm gonna be super busy, I'm gonna have all these pre-made uh, spreads that I'm gonna be able to use without taking too much time to decorate, but because they are already decorated. But on sometimes if I have the time to decorate, or if I simply want to, I can do this as well. So that's what I love about this planner. Um, then, so yeah, I use the habit tracker quite a lot. And then, don't judge me, <laughs> not feeling that feeling it out completely. My goal was to do two of each of these habits a month. Uh, uh, sorry, a uh, week, because I don't want to have like too much high expectations for myself. Because then I get disappointed, and that's my mood tracker. And I use kind of like a color scheme that like peachy because I kind of like the peachy theme and as you can see that's not like the theme of the month the theme of the month was like lavender but I went with my own theme because personally I don't like using the same theme the whole month and so I just did what I wanted to do and then as you can see here I totally modified the page the original page is supposed to look a little bit like this and I love it, but this time around, I was like, I was not as busy and I was like, wanted to do things my own way and I did it and it looks great in my opinion, like, it's kind of my style and 
it's just fine like that and on some months when i'm busy well i could just leave it the way it is and it will be just fine and then there's like a how do you say yeah there's a plain page on the right again which i use there you get one plain page for months um and i just put little lists that i wanted to put up and yeah I watched uh, Mystic Pop-Up Bar and It's Okay Not To Be Okay for the dramas that I watched uh, this on in July and I really love them and I recommend them so much so yeah anyway and then so yeah I put like a list for my deliveries because I like to keep track of like the deliveries that I'm waiting for and then my favorites of the month and then we get to the weekly spread so yeah <laughs> I don't know weekly space i just fill them out and then i put decorations in them so that it looks like it's mine yeah just personalizing them for example here there was like the iron and soggy comeback and so put things related to them just yeah i put stickers here like cherry blossom stickers and then yeah i like to do a little bit of collage like sticking things and speaking about that, the planner is quite big, so if that's not something you're looking for, you should know that it's quite big. <laughs> but that's... So yeah, uh, <laughs> I, mean, I don't remember what I was trying to say, but I was trying to say that because I'm be I've been sticking things in it, it's getting even bigger. So keep that in mind if that's a thing that's bothering you. I personally don't care that much because, yeah. I don't bring it everywhere like usually when i'm outside i plan things on my phone and then when i'm home i plan on my physical planner because i just think that's easier easier for me uh yeah so we're around here i've been sticking things as you can see my spreads just like i've been playing with post-it notes and everything i've been because like the spreads have circles like that with circles with the date and I've been coloring them in um, black and writing the number in a, with a white pen and I'm gonna show you the pens that I used to do this because I really like to do this I think like it gives a little bit of, you know <laughs> black pen is just like a simple pen like I got this I don't remember when but it's like you can use any black um, I don't know how to say this in English but it's a enfin, un, un feutre <laughs> and then the white pen it's, it's really special because it's a postcard pen but I didn't know that postcard did like really thin pens like that's a 0 0.7 so it's really thin as you can see I think you can see yeah it's so good it writes on anything obviously because that's like a postcard which means it's made out of paint and I really like it I've been really enjoying this pen and so yeah. and then I finished July yeah July is over it's kind of sad because that means like my break is over <laughs> but it's fine let's go we arrived to August um, and it has a quick page and I for August as you can see like for July I did not really follow the, th the theme just because I didn't want to that much <laughs> but for August that's the August 2018 spread that Amanda Rachley did on her channel and I absolutely loved it when she released that spread and so I was so happy that it was in the in her planner and that's the beauty of her planner because all of the spreads are her own spreads that she previously made videos on so if you for example saw a spread but it was like too difficult to replicate then you can just have them uh, on your planner so it's perfect like I was so happy because I love this spreads and I went back to see the video of this spread and I copied all of the colors that she used so that I could have the same spread because I just really liked it and so that's how it turned out and it says to live in the moment I really like the quotes I don't know they're kind of like they're cute quotes they're not that cringy so it, it's, fine. it's fine and yeah that's the um, that's how I colored the monthly 
<clears throat> then once again i added my own spin it's just that i had so much time in july that i did a little bit like i did another delivery list because i think that's so useful and i did an august favorites which i did not fill up yet obviously because august just started i'm feeling filming this on august 1st and then i have only three habits for august and i don't know if i'm gonna like just keep up with them because i don't know yet how august is gonna go so yeah but i just put three simple habits in there and i'm gonna see if i'm gonna keep up with him and then for the mood tracker i went for like yellow and green uh, colors because I'm, i've been loving the yellow and green association and i've just been scrapbooking a little bit just because yeah i did something else under it actually <laughs> and i ended up hating it and so that's why I like as I use um, I use glue to stick that on top of it so that you can see it and it turned out cute in my opinion. This spread I love the most about my August spreads like I've been like sticking just like pages from old journals that I don't use. <laughs> that's what I've been loving um, to do like i've got plenty of journals that i don't use but i love the paper in it and i feel so bad that i don't use them but it's not like journals that have a really pretty cover or for example so i'm like i don't feel bad about ripping out pages because i'm like i'm not going to use it so might as well use them in my journal that i use um on the daily so yep and so i've been lettering i love this lettering because it's so easy to do you don't need to not calligraphy or anything and yeah, I've been really into like two colors combination and for this I did like red and green and I think it's really cute Stickers and so here I've got my goals, which is the original Pre-made spread so as goals, but the other spread is favorites and um, As you can see my favorite is here <laughs> And so here I did my money budgeting thing so I know I put budget here, but that's actually the real budget, like how I'm gonna spend my money this month. And this is like a budget tracker, if you will. Like I'm gonna track everything I spend and what's what's in my bank account at the end of the month. Probably nothing. <laughs> and here is the last thing I'm gonna show you today. This is the first spread of August. And yeah, August had the August spreads have wait. Um, fruit on top and I tried coloring them and then I didn't end up liking it and so I put this on top of it it's like it's like if I made my own washi tape you know? <laughs> like I took you uh, paper from an old notebook as I said before and I just drew these little these little oranges these little uh, fruits and I think it's so cute just because I really like the I've been seeing a lot of videos of bullet journals that Use like the oranges theme this month and I was so inspired and I was like I can do whatever I want so I did it here a little bit washi tape polaroid things like this just like stickers and things like that but it's like very simple because I know it's gonna be a busy week oh my god I just realized I have to blur something out okay Leanna blur this out but that's it for the flip through pretty much it and then I'm gonna show you the themes, but you probably saw them for September. It's gonna be cactuses, which is cute, it's cute. But for October, it's that theme that I just like, I don't feel inspired by it. Like, I have no idea what I'm gonna do because I don't know, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> but for November, it's one of my favorite themes of like the whole planner. Is that thing which I've I literally is it is it called bal balloon anyway if you want to fly get rid of everything that weighs you down and yeah i really love this theme it's so pretty i love it i really loved it when she did it on her channel too her youtube channel which is amanda rich lee and then december is this and this spread is like the first ever video that i saw from amanda rich lee i think it was in 2017 i think it was june yeah it's weird that i know <laughs> the date of the spread but i do so yep january is like the stars theme which is cute and february is so pretty cherry blossoms i think it's yeah in relations to valentine's day maybe 
<laughs> March, I don't like that much, but it's like two spreads that I don't like too much, so I think I'm gonna be able to personalize them anyway. But then April is so beautiful, like this butterfly spam and like the wings quote. Like I'm relating this to BTS. I don't care if it's not like inspired by BTS. I'm gonna be inspired by BTS because like if you don't know, they have a song called this butterfly and they have an album called Wings. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but it's so beautiful, like all the spreads, like even the Matraka with little things. It's really pretty. And the fact the fact that it's in black and white and you can like use the colors that you want or just leave it with black and white. It's so perfect. Like I'm really satisfied that I bought this. Cause I know I'm gonna be using like a lot. May is very pretty as well, I really like it. And then June is my one of my favorite things so she made this spread like the video from this spread is from july 2019 and i love this video i even like reproduced it in my bullet journal at the time and so i love that she put it in this uh, planner of course and then that's the end of the planner then you get note pages which like one two three four six notes so you get 12 in total i think because like there's six notes uh, at the start as well and then it's just like use this note page just for pen tests or random things and then there's a reflections page that i'm gonna use when i finish this planner then i just put my sticker things that i wanted to have like let's say i'm doing a little spread and i want a sticker then it's right here so i think it's kind of convenient put them put some of them here as well here i have the there's a note that comes with the planner when you buy it it's signed by amanda ridgeley so yeah it's kind of cool then i have like some stickers all right and then here i bought something from jenny journal on youtube and this came with the order and i thought it was cute because it said my name a few stickers here and that's it then you get a something for to put a pen in it and then you can close it which is perfect because like as you can see I'm, sk I'm sticking a lot of things in here so it's convenient that you can do that the gold is so pretty on it and i love the color that i chose but like other colors were really pretty as well like the pink one the brown one i really like too and yep, that's it for the flip through. Don't forget to subscribe because I don't know, I might make more videos. I don't know, actually. <laughs> and yeah, see you later. And don't forget to go check out Amanda Ridgely, even though if you're watching this video, you probably already know her. And yep, goodbye. I literally suck at goodbyes like every video. I'm like, <laughs>